Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be playing with my Bling Line Hard Gel Colors. So if you wanna see how I created this gorgeous set, just keep watching. So first off, um, I just pretend we've buffed our nails and everything. We're going to be doing these on tips today. Um, I didn't get my flexi hand out. I don't know why. Um, anyway, uh, so once we have prepped our nails and everything, we're going to go in with some Bling Line Super Bond. Now, when you're doing this, you need the smallest amount possible. Um, you want the nail to look damp, not wet. And when you brush it on, really work it into the nail. Um, and then once you've done that, as you wipe the brush over, it, there should be such little product on the nail that you feel it dragging. So the, the key is to make it really, you, yeah, really, really small amounts. Thin amounts is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I'm going to do these over all the nails. I'm going to show you me doing the other one. No, I'm not. I'm not going to show you me doing the other ones, but I do do the other ones. And then I'm going to take my, I'm not doing very well, am I, this morning? Um, this is the Bling Line Cool One Step Gel. So this is the, we're going to just put our thin layer of this on. This is like um, the equivalent of your acrylic clear base, but obviously with hard gel. So if you are adding colour onto your nail, um, say like in two or three weeks time when your client comes back, they want a different design, you can file off to this clear base. So that's why we're applying this. I'm going to do this to the second now. Again, don't make it bulky. Don't make it, don't put too much on. It just needs to be a thin layer that we could file down to, file back to. I'm just going to put a little bit more on the bottom because I was a little bit short of gel at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to do the other three nails there as well. You can see how little product I've got on those other tips as well. Okay, so these are now ready for our colour. So we've got lava. And um, yeah, oh, this is the most beautiful silver. <laughs> so we're going, to do the, we're going to do this nail first and then I'll show you the other colours. The glitter I'm using is called Sterling. This is like the silver equivalent of heirloom that we used yesterday. Um, I really like this one. It's a metallic silver with um, like the fine and medium hexagons in. We're going to do a full nail of glitter, but in case I have any gaps in the glitter, I'm going to put lava um, as our base colour. So I'm going to apply two coats of this, two very thin coats. In fact, you don't even need two. You probably could have just done one um, because they aren't going to, you're probably going to cover it really well. Um, but I'm going to go in with two coats just to be sure. And I'm going to cure each coat for 60 seconds. It's so pretty, isn't it? And then we're going to apply, once that comes out, this is the silver. Oh, look at that sterling. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got to be one of my faves, I think. One of my all-time faves. Um, I'm going to go over the nail now with a thin coat of the Core cool One Step Gel. We're going to sprinkle the sterling glitter into this and then cure it. I just that way I know then that I'm definitely going to get like you're going to get like proper full coverage okay so sprinkle it all over now because the gel underneath is fully covered we're going to give this a a cure for four minutes to make sure that all of that gel underneath is going to be set I've just gently pat the glitter down just so that I make sure it's all flat um, and then once that's done, we're going to go over it again with the Cool One Step Gel to encapsulate the glitter. Because I'm doing this on tips, I'm not going to worry about my apex or anything. I'm just going to put enough on that I can file the nail smooth. Obviously, if you're doing it on a client or, you know, natural nails, you want to make sure that you've got your, your apex and everything. But as I said, I'm not going to worry. So just enough. And then I'm going to cure that in the lamp for the full 60 seconds. Then we're going to move on to the next nail. So I've got Ankia, which is the black 
gel color and ophelia which is the most gorgeous oh, purple it's amazing actually it um i was inspired by karen's set that she done the gothic set that she done um i really really wanted to try i just i just wanted to do like a purple set so yeah oh it her uh, I, i'll leave her link her actually her her youtube um channel is linked in my description boxes so go and find her channel um she does hard gel as well and uh, yeah she's done some really nice sets lately actually that i've really enjoyed um, anyway back to these ones um i'm gonna put a thin coat of ankia over i'm gonna cure this for a full 60 seconds with dark colors you want to you well in general just want to make sure that you do really thin coats um that way you know that you're not going to have any wrinkling or anything i'm going over with another very thin coat of ankia but i'm not going to cure this so you can see how thin that coat is um right i'm not i'm just going to clean the brush off um and then i'm going to go in with some ophelia and i'm going to place her through the black that's uncured just doing like um, a few slanted I don't know it's I was kind of trying to go for a marble but I'm just sort of dabbing it dabbing it through the black it's difficult to see on here because it's really quite dark but the end result looked really nice I was really pleased with it so I'm again I'm not going to cure that this time I'm only gonna I'm only picking up a little bit of the silver so I'm using my nail sugar Natalie Muggwood detailer brush to pick this up and I'm just kind of placing that through the purple and black colors just kind of only like small amounts just kind of like where I want it um, and I wanted it to be more of a a kind of dispersed line as opposed to sometimes when I do marbles I want the lines to be nice and defined but wiggly do you know what I mean I don't want that for this nail that's not kind of what I was going for so I'm kind of sort of just like patting at the silver as well and then once I'm happy with that I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure so the other three nails that we've got are just going to be full nails of um, Ophelia she is just lovely I can't tell you she is one of my favoritest colors um, from the bling line hard gel color collections um, oh, I'll tell you what though they've got so many colors it's crazy um, there were some colors that weren't they had a little bit of a glitch on their website and there were some colors that weren't showing up so I went back on there and had a look the other day and I was like oh god so I think I'm gonna have to place another order because <laughs> I just love them all so I've gone in with that first coat I've cured it for 60 seconds and now I'm applying my second coat this is just gonna really um, enhance that color and this is a like a metallic-y purple as well, so you get the most gorgeous sheen. Again, once we're happy, look, oh, it's just amazing. It's just stunning. Pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. I'm using my bling line lamp and I love it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, I've only capped the glitter nail, so I'm just going to go over all the other nails with some Cool One Step Gel in clear. Um, I'm not gonna I don't really show you me doing it because it just is very similar to the silver one So we've done it Ta -da! and then what I'm gonna do is it's gonna have a tacky layer So I'm using my bling line cleanse cleanser to wipe off the tacky layer off the nails and um, then I'm gonna file and buff them and Now we're ready to top coat Okay, so on um the first three nails we're going to use the tack free finish because i want them to look glossy so the glitter one the marble one and then one of these i was like i was trying to decide whether i should do what just one but then we're going to do yeah two of them are going to be the matte top finish so two of the plain purple ones are going to be matte and then the others are going to be shiny so it's top coating time oh my gosh i haven't said that for so long um i love this glitter look at the glitter it's so neat well, you can't see because I'm half out of shot. <laughs> it's so nice. It's one of those, I think it's like a staple. You can't go wrong with a classic silver glitter, can you? It's a bit like a silver hollow. It's, it's kind of you need those really in your your glitter collection. I love this this one as well, this nail. 
You can see it better here. I was quite pleased with how it turned out. Okay, then we're going to go over this one. I absolutely love the purple. It's blooming gorgeous. Okay, so I am just going to pop those into the lamp before I do the matte ones. Remember, they've got a tack-free finish. You just need to leave them for about a minute to cool down before you start touching them. Because if you touch them when they when it comes out, when it's warm, when it comes out, they might still a little bit still feel a little bit tacky. But just leave them to cool down, and then you'll be they'll they're you know you're good to go. And then obviously here I am matte top coating the other two. Make sure you cover the whole nail. You don't want to leave little gaps. Do you know, I think I'm running out of this matte top coat, so I'm going to have to get some more soon. It's just an excuse to put another order in. <laughs> okay, so when you're done, pop those in the lamp. Now, these are going to have a tacky layer, these two. Um, so pop them in for a minute, and then when they come out, look, you, they look a little bit... Um, they still look slightly glossy. But what we're going to do is, we're going to leave these to cool as well. And once they've cooled down, then we're going to take the tacky layer off. Because if you take the tacky layer off too soon, sometimes it doesn't look as matte as it can be. So I'm going to do it now. It's cooled down. And then look, oh, isn't that gorgeous matte finished as well? I don't think, uh, you could do anything with Ophelia and I think she'd just look amazing. She's beautiful. Right, so we're going to add crystals now. Um, I stupidly didn't show you the crystal mix that I'm using, but the crystals that I'm using are from the Crystal Parade Halloween Trick or Treat mix. And there was this gorgeous black fan, and I have wanted to do something with it for a long time. And I saw a set that Elaine Jones had done. She's also on YouTube. She um, she used a fan as well, and I was like, do you know what? I just I just want to use mine. Um, so I've gone ahead and I've placed it on the nail. Then I'm taking two of the, I think these are called Labradorite or something like that. These, they're just like metallic silver. I'm placing them at the bottom of the fan. So it kind of hides the bottom of the fan. Then I'm going to give that a cure. I've not finished that last nail, but while that one's in, I'm going to concentrate on this one. So also in the Halloween mix you get some moons and stars so what i wanted to do was i put too much um gem glue on here but i'm going to put the moon at the top i'm going to give that a quick flash cure and then i'm going to leave a gap and i'm going to place one of the stars and then i'm going to leave a gap again i had to make sure it's like nice and straight yeah, so I'm going to put a little bit more glue here, gem glue. And then I'm going to take that other star. In a minute. Oh, I needed a bit more glue. <laughs> Place that on there. So we've got a line. We've got the moon and we've got two stars going straight down. And you want to make sure that they are all in line. So once you are happy with how they are looking, give it a quick flash cure. And then what I'm going to do is, coming down from that bottom star, I'm just using my brush now to apply the gem glue. This is the Crystal Totalist gem glue from Crystal Parade, which I've nearly finished. I've, oh, I've dug out my, um, my clear Preciosa crystals and some silver caviar beads from the Crystal Parade as well. And what I'm doing is I'm going to use the clear beads, no, the clear crystals, and the caviar beads to connect the stars together and then the star with the moon and oh, pardon me and then the moon with the top of the nail so i'm going to do it you can do it at like a section at a time i'm going to do two in a row because i was feeling brave so i'm just going to use a very small s i think they're ss3s the really, really tiny, these ones, the really tiny um, clear Preciosa crystals. And then between those, between the crystals and the shapes, I'm going to put some of these little beads, caviar beads. So it looks like they're kind of dangling from, a, 
I don't know, like a, not a string, like a chain or something. But you wanna make sure that it's all nice. The, the hardest thing was making sure it all looked straight, I think. And this one, I could only get one, one side had one bead and the other side had two beads. Don't worry if they, you know, if you don't get two on each side or anything. It's not the end of the world. There we go. Right, I'm gonna just give that a quick flash cure. And then I'm gonna do the top bit. Now on the top, I'm not gonna put any crystals. You can if you want. I just decided to go in with the silver caviar beads. And then once I'm happy, I will give that now a full cure for 60 seconds. Just make sure it's all straight again. And then bung it in the lamp. And then we're going to go back to the other now. So you can see in the crystal tra uh, in the tray there, um, all the other stones that you get. You can't see them very well, but I've dug out this cabochon. I don't know what you call it. It's like a cabochon navette kind of shape. And um, on the bottom, I'm going to put a clear preciosa crystal. And then I'm going to apply some micro beads to this uh, caviar beads i don't know you can call them micro beads or caviar beads i don't know what they are they're kind of whatever you want to call them really um i'm gonna put a few between the stones and then i decided to i'm gonna add some at the bottom as well but the area at the at the bottom of the fan there um i decided to fill that area there with some caviar beads as well and and then i decided to add some down the side of that black stone so i do apply some more i just didn't i just didn't film it so here we go and then i and then after this i've added some more as well but i'm going to show you the full set anyway all done i hope you're going to like them i think you will i think they look really nice there we go I just thought it was kind of like a nice, subtle, Halloween-y kind of vibe nails. Um, yeah, you know. Anyway, I hope you like them. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. All the discount codes and websites will be in the description box below. And they will have come up on the screen as well when I showed you the products. But um, thank you for watching. I may not upload a video tomorrow. It may be Thursday and Friday again this week. But I'll see what I can do because I'm slacking this week. But thanks for watching. And I will see you beautiful lot in the next one. Bye.